Hey there, so before we get started with the whole train with the whole loose leash walking, I kind of want to go over on how to get, get it started before you actually go out for your walk, how to prepare your dog so that way they're not overly excited and uh, you know, you're able to put on your tools that you want to use, whether it's like a collar, a leash, whatever it is that you're, that you're using, you want to make sure that you know, you're able to put you know, the equipment on, onto your dog. Uh, without any trouble and so uh, what I have here it's a uh, head halter which is a pretty neat tool that you know helps you to uh, control your dog's pulling and so a lot of times what you want to do is you want to use a lure to be able to put the equipment onto your dog so you're always going to ask him for a sit stay and you want to make sure that your dog stays in the position uh, and if for any reason he gets up uh, you want to pull away you know the collar or you know the leash whatever it is you want to make sure they stay uh, while you put on the equipment um, same thing with the door like say as soon as you open the door you want to you know have them in a, in a stay position if for any reason they try to run out you know before you give them the command uh, then you want to close the door that way it helps control their impulse uh, you know I mean the dogs are you know they know whenever they're about to go out for a walk so they're going to be overly excited and so it's our job to help them calm them down so that way you know they're not you know overly pulling while you're walking them um, same thing goes like whenever you get to the so as soon as you step outside i like to give the dog another sit stay right at the edge of the porch before we actually go out for the walk uh, just because a lot of the times as soon as you step outside the dog is just out the door. You know, he might stay when you're inside, but as soon as you step right outside, he starts to run out and that's when they start pulling. So if you give him the other, you know, sit stay right before you actually go out for the walk, that's something that's gonna help you out as well. And it all starts from inside. You know, anytime, you know, say you wanna let them out from your, you know, their crate, uh, their dog gate, um, you know, if you're even if you're walking into another room right at the doorway, you want to give the dog a sit stay and then release them. So I always give them the let's go um, to let them let them right outside the door. So to kind of give you into uh, perspective of, of how I put their, his equipment on, take him, come, place, come, sit, stay, and he won't get the treat. You know, unless I put his collar on. And then same thing goes with the leash as well. And then before I open the door, I give him the stay command again. Make sure he looks at me and then I'll open the door slowly. And then I'll give him the, let's go. So that's just sort of how I prepare my dog to get started. That way he's not overly pulling um, right out the gate. And we'll see you on the next one.